Have you guys heard about this application here? This is called NVIDIA Broadcast and you can use it to enhance your camera, your microphone and your speakers. So for example, for microphone, it is used commonly to remove noise. So let's say you're, you're in a very loud environment. You can remove all of the noise at the cost of obviously the quality of your voice that uh, because it will sound processed. And the same thing that you, you can do the same thing for your camera. So, for example, in OBS, instead of my camera directly, I can use NVIDIA Broadcast, which in turn references my camera here. And you can see that I can turn on and off the background. You see that? No background. Background on. And so what is this used for a lot? Well, let's say you play a game like Black Myth Wukong, and you can just sit here in a normal room and it looks like you have a green screen which is really cool and it i have to say it looks really really good we take a look at this in obs here so i have a background behind me it looks almost perfect right not 100 percent, but close enough however the issue is the gpu usage and so yesterday i did some testing i played black myth wukong and what i'm doing with my setup is i'm streaming and i'm recording at the same time and I've set it up in a way where streaming and recording takes about 24% of my GPU. And in order to do this better, I'm going to put my normal camera in here first to show you the difference. So this is the normal camera. And I can also add a filter to it to remove the background. It is not as perfect as NVIDIA Broadcast, but you will see why that is important later. Right now we are sitting at 23% GPU. And for those of you who that is not enough, we have a different application called Process Explorer that you can use on windows and you can inspect the gpu usage of these different programs so for example for obs we can double click on that and see that right now it is using eight percent of the gpu okay so right now we are in game and you can see that when i'm changing the camera and i'm running around a lot you can see that it goes up to 30 38 percent which is a lot and I'm going to run to the same spot that I always run to, which is the beginning of this area. You're telling me that Microsoft Edge uses 20% of my GPU just because it exists? All right. Okay. Piss off. Oh, no. That's ridiculous, by the way. So what you can see here that as I'm running around, this is my test location, the very beginning of Act 2, is you can see we get 10%, sometimes 30%. It uh, chunks a bit up and down. And you might be wondering why that is. That is usually spikes for encoding. But what I noticed is I'm currently not using the NVIDIA broadcast camera. And on idle mode, we are sitting at 8%. What I'm going to do now is change from my camera to NVIDIA broadcast. All right, so I have now switched to NVIDIA broadcast, okay? And I always, I've also removed my background. But what you can see here, and it's also displayed on the left, the base gpu usage ignore this part right here i had the filter on twice but the base gpu usage is now at 30 percent i've now been letting it run for a couple of minutes and you can see that the base gpu usage is 44 percent and you know i'm gonna show you something i'm going to run around in the world and i want you to look at the right the gpu usage how it goes up and up and up and up it is going up to 60% sometimes. And so why am I making this? Why am I talking about this? G uh, the NVIDIA broadcast software is often advertised as this crazy thing to enhance your broadcasting experience. But if you have a weak computer or you only have one computer and you don't have a streaming setup where you use a gaming and streaming computer, I would not use the software because it seems the communication between OBS and NVIDIA broadcast seems to somehow create insane amount of GPU usage. You can see that it just goes up and up, right? And so I have a better solution. Essentially, what you can do is you use your camera directly. So now I'm using my camera again. You can see on the right just by switching the camera and it's still kind of broken, right? It's using currently 40 percent of my gpu but the cool thing is in obs it allows you to add filters to cameras so essentially if you have an nvidia gpu you can re remove the background using an nvidia background removal and then you can also use a filter hotkeys kind of extension that allows you to toggle this on and off using a hotkey now you can see this is not the best it flickers a little bit and that can be annoying 
but you can see here that it doesn't it doesn't really cost any computational power and so unless nvidia broadcast fixes something on what they are doing i wouldn't use nvidia broadcast there seems to be a bug or something that causes abnormally high gpu usage to the point where you can't even play a normal game and i wouldn't consider black myth wukong to be a crazy game you could see that it currently this is the desktop window manager on the top left it uses 25 percent so it's not really that much and it looks like we're gonna have to repair the gpu usage a little bit that seems to be tied to black myth wukong i can just close this off and then it drops down to nothing again so uh, there seems to be some stuff here that's happening when the game's running and uh, together with nvidia broadcast but now it normalizes again and so how do you G repair gpu usage you don't use applications that use up all of your gpu that's much when you used nvidia broadcast it also used 1.2 gigabytes ram so yeah also nvidia broadcast by itself uses up gpu power and so what i'm gonna do for now is i'm not gonna use nvidia broadcast i'm just gonna use the camera like this and if you guys see flickering too much if it is if you if you see like crazy flickering right now i think it's kind of okay please let me know okay because i can't 100 percent. i can't always monitor this perfectly so yeah anyways that was a doozy to find out it was really annoying and that's that was the reason why i couldn't play this game without legs awesome right like i don't know who programmed this shitty nvidia broadcast software but apparently you can use the background removal while not costing much gpu power it's like badly implemented here uh, i think they need to implement it a bit better but man holy shit even if it flickers it's no problem it gets if it gets uh, the result it is good yeah like it does flicker a little bit i don't like it but uh, maybe we could just you know forget about it and then just move on and it will be normalized after some time